Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to our. Oh, yes. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our post-game press conference for these uh, first uh, semi-final games of the uh, 2022 Basketball Africa League. A reminder of our the scores tonight here at the BK Arena. Club Atletico Petroloes de Luanda. 88 points force army a police basketball 74 points here we have with us um coach francois nyenge and uh, cedric kenfak bonsoir coach bonsoir bonsoir cedric félicitations hein, à vous deux parce que euh, euh, pour cette brillante performance ici à, à kigali et plus particulièrement à cette deuxième édition de la, de la basketball africa league Beaucoup de gens euh, n'attendaient pas la, la, les forces armées et police à, à ces niveaux. Euh, mais après euh, la qualification euh, en, euh, contre la, et la, et la, la brillante euh, qualification contre l'équipe euh, haute, donc euh, REG, Rwanda Energy Group, euh, tout le monde s'attendait aussi à, 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 à un revers aussi euh, contre euh, force armée, euh, contre club pétroleuse de Luanda. Coach, ça a été un match très dur à l'image de votre équipe, mais au, au, au bout, on n'a pas cette qualification. Quel, quel est votre ressenti Mais au-delà de votre ressenti, je voulais juste que vous nous fassiez en fait un point d'étape, un point de, de, de votre évaluation de cette Basketball Africa League. Merci. Bonsoir tout le monde. Euh je voudrais simplement euh, tout d'abord remercier euh, le, la BL pour euh, cette organisation parce que l'organisation est au niveau du professionnalisme. Ouais. Ça, c'est ce que je tenais d'abord à dire. Maintenant, en ce qui concerne le parcours jusqu'ici, mmh. euh, on peut le dire, hein, euh, on est satisfait jusqu'à ce point. Je suis d'autant plus satisfait en revisitant la fiche statistique parce que je me rends compte que euh, mon banc de touche a fait le travail. Aujourd'hui, mon seul majeur n'a pas joué du tout parce que c'est quasiment nul là. Mais ça voudrait dire simplement que j'ai nous avons une équipe qui a un, une profondeur de banc et nuit. Euh, maintenant, on est tombé sur une équipe de qualité, une <rire> un gros calibre qu'est le Petro qui nous a scouté comme il fallait et puis euh, l'expérience a pesé euh, jusqu'à ce point je pense que c'est positif j'ai demandé à mes jeunes simplement de relever la tête pour qu'on aille chercher la troisième place qui, est, qui sera également historique pour notre basketball local parce que euh, on a les capacités pour un uh, basketball Cédric uh, félicitations je pense que uh, uh, toi et tes coéquipiers ont fait un très bon travail et Merci. nous tenons à, à vous remercier, toi et toute l'équipe, pour cet excellent travail. Je voulais juste que tu, euh, tu nous fasses un petit bilan, euh, un petit bilan de la participation des forces armées et police. Beaucoup euh, n'attendaient pas FAP à ces niveaux, mais je pense que tout le monde a constaté euh, la solidité de cette équipe, surtout la solidité, la solidité défensive de votre équipe. Quelle, euh, quelle, quelle évaluation que tu fais après ces demi-finales contre le Petro de Luanda Le premier sentiment, c'est, je dirais, un peu de déception. Après le match qu'on a fait, on aurait voulu faire mieux, on veut toujours faire mieux, mais avec du recul, on a beaucoup de fierté. Moi, personnellement, j'ai beaucoup de fierté d'être arrivé à ce niveau. Comme vous l'avez dit, personne ne nous attendait à ce niveau et... C'est vraiment historique pour nous. On a fait un pas, je dirais. L'année dernière, on a joué un quart de finale. Cette année, on venait pour faire mieux et on l'a fait. Donc, à ce niveau-ci, je dirais qu'on est satisfait de, de notre parcours. Et certes, il reste un match de troisième place à jouer. On va l'aborder comme tous les autres matchs pour aller le gagner avec un esprit de, de combativité, toute la détermination possible. Donc, à ce niveau, vraiment, nous, nous ne pouvons qu'être satisfaits de notre participation et on attend le match de troisième place. So I'll open the floor for questions, beginning with Julio, uh, PR content writer. 
uh, question for Cedric. Cedric, uh, you have played against Petro three times over the past, last 12 months. What is it that Petro does that makes things so difficult for FAP? Uh, je dirais que cette équipe nous met toujours en difficulté parce que ils, ils parviennent à facilement nous lire et puis ils, ils parviennent à facilement nous, nous déjouer, je dirais. Comme vous le dites, c'est la troisième fois qu'on les joue en deux ans et chaque fois ils nous battent sur des petits détails. Nous, on gère un peu mal nos possessions, mais eux, par contre, c'est, je dirais, l'inverse. Ils gèrent très bien nos possessions, ils ont des gares, ils ont un banc qui tourne, ils ont des bonnes rotations. Et je dirais que c'est un peu sur ça qu'ils nous battent parce que on est venu, on a, on a très mal commencé le match, mais après on s'est rattrapé. Mais cette équipe, c'est l'une des meilleures équipes en Afrique et nous parvenir à jouer à ce niveau contre eux, vraiment, on peut être fier. On, on veut toujours faire plus, on aspire à faire plus la prochaine fois qu'on va les rencontrer. Parce que jouer contre cette équipe, c'est pour ça qu'on travaille. quoi. C'est pour ça qu'on travaille pour rencontrer ces équipes de l'élite africaine. Et c'est ça également qui nous fait grandir en tant que joueurs. Et qui nous fait grandir en tant qu'équipe de rencontrer ces genres d'équipes, d'avoir de la difficulté, de perdre des matchs, d'apprendre de nos erreurs. Et c'est ça qui nous fait grandir en tant qu'équipe. Bonjour coach, Antoine Grenier, Radio France Internationale. Euh, une question par rapport à votre prochain match euh Vu les progrès réalisés par FAP et vu l'adversité surtout, parce qu'il y a trois grosses équipes face à vous en demi-finale, est-ce qu'une quatrième place serait vraiment une déception <rire> Bon, euh, on ne parle pas de quatrième place parce que nous avons l'occasion d'être troisième. Et nous, quand on joue, on donne tout pour emporter. Je pense que la pression sera de l'autre côté parce que ce sont des grosses équipes, ce sont des équipes professionnelles. Nous, euh, on a fait un pas comme euh, Cédric le disait tantôt, mais notre ambition également, c'est d'être parmi les trois premiers. Donc notre objectif, euh, certes, par rapport aux demi-finales, il y a un goût amer, mais nous irons chercher cette troisième place, qui que ce soit, que ce soit Zamalek ou bien US Monastir, vous verrez le match vendredi. Question, Nicole. Nic Hi, my name is Nicasius uh, from Crowds Media in Tanzania. So, coach, uh, referring to the last game uh, against uh, Reg, they were aggressive and they came fast to you. And what you chose was to slow the, the game down, which now uh, gave you an opportunity to execute uh, your plays properly. But then uh, today, when uh, uh, Petro tr uh, became aggressive, it seemed like you went the same uh, with the same approach like what they were doing rather than slowing the game. What happened and is it uh, the pressure to the players or you chose to be aggressive and fast like them today? Bon, je, tout d'abord, je voudrais dire, on ne veut pas changer notre façon de jouer. Hein. Nous avons travaillé pour, euh, nous, nous restons dans notre philosophie de jeu. Nous avons euh, une identité, je le disais lors de la précédente conférence de presse. Euh, Aujourd'hui, ce qui a été euh, bien exécuté, peut-être cette agressivité est restée, mais elle a été un peu désordonnée, parce que nous sommes tombés quand même face à une équipe nationale. Petro, aujourd'hui, c'est l'équipe nationale de l'Angola, c'est plusieurs fois champion d'Afrique, c'est une équipe très expérimentée, et qui, euh, sur des petits détails, euh, a, nous a punis. Donc, nous n'allons pas changer notre façon de jouer, de défendre, parce que je pense que jusque-là, nous restons quand même l'une des meilleures défenses de cette deuxième édition de la Basketball Africa League. Et euh, cette énergie défensive, normalement, devrait être compensée par euh, 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 un repos offensif qui se doit, mais on n'arrive pas toujours à trouver les astuces. On va continuer de travailler. Nous sommes une équipe jeune. Nous avons euh, pour ambition d'aller le plus loin possible, peut-être un jour remporter cette Basketball Africa League. Nous n'allons pas nous arrêter en si bon chemin. Last question. Oh, Cedric, from group stages last season to semifinals this season, what should we expect next season? Should we ex expect to see you uh, for the next season? And if if it's yes, should we expect some improvement like getting to uh, finals? Thanks. Euh, bien sûr que on espère être euh, à la prochaine saison. On espère, on espère y être. Certes, pour nous, c'est un peu plus difficile que pour les équipes comme Petro. Nous, 
L'équipe FAP, on doit passer mm -hmm. par deux tours de qualification pour euh, être qualifié à la balle. Ouais. Mm -hmm. Donc, euh, on doit tout d'abord en ce moment être champion du Cameroun, vu que le championnat n'est pas encore fini. Sinon, on doit être champion du Cameroun et on a deux tours de qualification encore à, à passer pour être sûr d'être présent à la prochaine euh, édition de la balle. Donc, euh, on va rentrer, continuer à terminer d'abord notre championnat, donner tout pour le gagner et puis se donner les moyens encore de traverser les deux tours de qualification pour pouvoir être là à la prochaine édition. Et en tant que sportif, on, on aspire toujours à aller vers le haut. Cette année, on a fait une demi-finale. Là, on connaît un peu ce sur quoi on a pêché. On a rencontré des adversaires un peu supérieurs à nous. On s'est frotté à eux. On a, on a appris de nos erreurs. Donc, l'année prochaine, forcément, on va revenir pour, faire, pour essayer de faire mieux. Pour essayer de faire mieux. C'est toujours à ce à quoi on aspire. On va rentrer travailler pour ça, moi personnellement, individuellement et en tant qu'équipe, avec nos, le staff, on va rentrer travailler sur nos manquements, sur nos erreurs, sur ce qui n'a pas marché pour euh, pouvoir revenir euh, à la prochaine balle et faire une meilleure performance. Good evening and welcome to our post-game press conference. The game club Atletico Petroleo de Luanda from Angola, uh, 88 points and Force Armée Police Basketball FAP from Cameroon. 74 points. We have with us here uh, my good friend uh, Jose Neto of uh, Petro de Luanda and of course uh, Joan Lopez Petro. Happy Africa Day to you all. Thank you. And uh, Coach Jose, I'll start with you. You are a coach of very many records. The first team to qualify for the semi finals of the second edition of the Basketball Africa League and the first team to qualify for the f finals of the second edition of the Basketball Africa League. Congratulations, coach. I want to know how you're feeling tonight. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your words, my friend. Uh, so, I'm happy, we are happy because uh, <laughs> we, are, we are where we desired, no? In this time, mm -hmm. what we desired, it's happened now. We can play the final for the first time in the BIL. So for us, for Angola in the basket and for our, our team, it's amazing. It's our desire to play this, but we have one more desire now. <laughs> the desire is changed now, so we all work for realizing. Mm -hmm. So it's a good game. Uh, I want to say for the ball, uh, the, the FAP, uh, it's a great team. They allowed until today 68 points for his opponent, for their, their mm -hmm. opponents. And uh, tonight we, we could score 88. I think it's a good offense for us. And they had uh, great, great shots that we, di we didn't wait about this, this score. So now uh, we need to improve um, our mentality mm -hmm. to play the final. Petro is on the final, so now we need to prepare for the final. We start now to rest the players for us, watch the game, the, the another semifinals, mm -hmm. and uh, I think we will be better in next time. Thank you very much, Coach. Congratulations, John. Um, the Petro team uh, talked about your your um, the fact that you are one of the best teams on the continent and uh, also the fact that the it was the technically the angolan national team that was that were playing i mean they had so many kind words for you this evening how is uh, first of all the ambience in the, the locker room and how are you guys preparing are you already in on in on on saturday may 28 at 6 p.m are you already projecting that final year at the the bk arena um, I would say that we've been projecting it since we got here, right? <laughs> right. So, because this is uh, the goal that we have right. to reach the finals, mm -hmm. and and I gotta say congrats to Fab for the effort of getting to this point because yeah. it's not easy. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how it happened. Um, important is that they were here. Yes, right. And um, and as far as our locker room, like we have a very um, particular style of leading with pressure. Right. Um, we united as far as the team goes, but as far as where the focus is at, everybody ha does their own ritual 
mm -hmm. and got their own rhythm and got to listen to their own music mm -hmm. and stuff to prepare right. themselves to mm -hmm. then show up uh, in the game. Okay. Like we're not as loud and we're not really, we're not really yelling and stuff. We mm -hmm. really, we really pretty much focused. Right. And as you rightly said, everyone has their own ritual. There are exactly. some people who are out, there are some people who are just calm exactly. just before. We're just not before particularly the, the team that be like shouting or hollering at each other, but mm -hmm. at the same time, we, we know how important this is. Great. <coughs> I'll, t I'll turn it over to you. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. My name is Asumtam Cheshmana from TV1. Congratulations for making it to the final of BL this season. Um, it is your first time to be on the final, and you will have to pray uh, between still and all final. Don't you feel like a little bit pressure to pray with the big teams in Africa because they are the finalists of the last season? And uh, will you be disappointed if you don't make it to win the trophy for this season? Thank you. Sorry, if it means a point, what? Uh, if we don't win the trophy. Ah, okay. So now, uh, I don't think about it. Mm -hmm. I don't think in no win mm -hmm. the trophy. Uh, we work for um, win the tournament. Mm -hmm. So our team is prepared every practice, every time to win the tournament. So until now, I start to say, uh, we are where we desired to be now. So now we need to, to be one more step. I don't know who who win this game, who will, uh, will this game, but I believe that we can beat Samalek or Monastir. Mm. If I can't believe it, I go home now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, of course, we're not, we're not satisfied about the arrive in the final, play the final, mm -hmm. no? so we prepare better. I believe that we can beat these teams and we prepare uh, our team for it. Uh, Coach Jose, uh, you have lost two games in the history of the, the BAL, the short history, both of them against Zamalek. Um, I think it's safe to say that in, in the BAL's short history, the, the three best teams consistently have been Zamalek, Petro and, and Monastir. So with that in mind, whether it's Zamalek again or, or Monastir, you will be up against a team that's, that's on a similar level to you. Um, what lessons do you take from, from those two losses to Zamalek that you will have to implement in order to get a, a different result in the final, whether it's against Zamalek or Monastir? Thank you, Leo. Uh, I want to say thank you for your question. So. I think that it's a great opportunity to win one uh, uh, Zamalek. If you, if they beat uh, beat us uh, two times, uh, if Zamalek win this next uh, the next game and go to the final with, uh, against us, I believe that it's a great opportunity to to beat them. It's a great moment. Um, the Monastir is the same. It's the first time that we can play against Monastir and a great team. So it's a big team they they play very well so now we need to prepare better our team to win who whatever can uh, zamalek or monastir but i believe that is a great opportunity for petra and uh, angolan basketball uh, to win this tournament and we work uh, for for it uh, pedro um my question is um you coming to face uh FAP in this game uh, that actually caused an upset to to reg I, I mean it's it was the last team uh, from the uh, Sahara conference and meeting them at the semi-finals what kind of approach did you have in mind uh, facing this team and how will that help you going into the finals um, I didn't really um, understood the last part of the question you said coming from the Sahara conference FAP, FAP was coming from oh, the Nile. from the Nile conference yeah, Mm -hmm, yeah. Was the last one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it caused an upset to Greg that was leading in its own conference. So, with what kind of approach did you have for the game, and how did it? How would it help you going into the fight? Um, like, as far as what can I take from this game and bring it to the finals? No, the approach you had for the game. 
the <laughs> the what the opportunity approach. ah the approach okay okay mm, the approach that we have t uh, towards the finals now the approach you have for this game ah, okay you still talking okay 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 yeah, the and approach how it, and how is it going to help you the one you used for this game how is it going to help you at the finals um it's not going to help us <laughs> It's not going to help us because it's a different team and it's a different <laughs> dynamic. So right. cool. we have to prepare a different way. Um, I think I can only, like I said, congratulate FAP to reach it to this point. But just like the questions that we're going to have now that you're going to ask us are theoretical questions. Just as it being a fact that we lost two times against Zamalek, but that doesn't mean anything going towards the finals. So as far as the approach goes, I can only say uh, the mentality because the mentality has to be the same, but the game plan going to be different. So, and we don't know how to prepare right now because we're the only ones in the finals now. <laughs> who, who helped FAP to beat Reg? Yeah. Who helped FAP to beat Reg? Of course, yeah. and for us it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, coach. Um, I know we talked about this in the last game, um, the last post match, um, where you talked about um, doing well in the first three quarters and not doing well in the last quarter. Same thing happened today. Considering the pedigree of teams you are playing in the final, it might be Zamalek, it might be Monastay. Doesn't it give you a sort of concern? that your team kind of collapsed in the final quarter because it happened against ASLA and it happened again today. Yeah, um, thank you for your question one more time. I really appreciate it. Um, if we play the first 30 quarters the same, no problem. No problem. If we in the, last, in the next game, if we play not so good the last quarter, but we we win the, the, the game, then no problem. Gladly going to collapse again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. But of course, I understand your I understood your your question. So it's a uh, pay attention about this detail, no? So of course, uh, in the last quarter, uh, in a a final game that's the only one game, the score is not too much important. So sometimes the the sensations to to do. To do anything different that we we could uh, what we, we could uh, put more points in difference like first quarter second quarter third quarter it's a sometimes we can think okay now I can do it okay no problem I I don't need to come back to defense but okay just control okay no problem so I I don't like this mentality I don't like but it's happened and uh, it's happened the same thing. In the next game, and we beat another team in the final, we won the tournament, and uh, I can win the trophy. So, of course, we need to pay attention for this detail. We'll take a last question from Nikasius. Uh, I could have a question for you and uh, for John. Uh, so, uh, referring to your points, uh, you, you have called FAP as a very good defensive team, but then also you have talked about the three quarters which you normally win. So from, from, from watching the game, you, you, you had put FAP in foul trouble for all three quarters. Was it an approach, uh, considering how good defensive they are, to, to attack them from the, from the first minute and put them on a foul trouble? And uh, for you, John, uh, for most teams I've seen, after they win the games, they start celebrating and run uh, to the locker room. But then for you guys, it was different. You called for the huddle. And I just wanted to know, how, why, how, why did you do that? And what were you discussing at the huddle uh, in the middle of the, of, uh, of the court? Um, it's, it goes back to the answer that I had um, for um, my brother over there with the fancy uh, <laughs> suit. <laughs> um, we celebrate in a particular different way and um, we a very united team as f when it comes to talking and regrouping we always like to regroup you know it's like a brotherhood so we don't really be yelling we don't really be jumping around and stuff i mean we will jump 
when we raise the trophy, that's for sure. But like as far as now, like we know that there's uh, one more goal, you know, and it's hard for us to celebrate, you know. I mean, it's important to celebrate every step of the way, but we know that the job's not finished. So this is where it comes from. Like we group, hey, guys, great game, and we have a we have this ritual where we clap three times when we win, one, two, three. When we lose, just one. And we clap three times and be like one more game and then we we go back to the hotel. And this is uh, the approach that we have. And just to add to the past question, um, it's it's true that as far as like um, um, bringing down the intensity in the last quarter can be very dangerous because this is where Zamalek, for example, the last time extended the lead. And we got to do our best to make sure that we don't relax. But honestly, after two losses and being in the finals, knowing that we can raise the trophy after one win, I don't think we're going to play around. Um, I believe that the, f the first three, three, three quarters, um, we played very well. We One more time, we made a game plan because we have a great technical staff jesus is my assistant coach it's very good assistant coach he prepared very well the game and the guys can do what we prepare what our game plan so the the three first quarter i think i'm i'm proud of my players they can do, they can do, and they can do the, the another, another game perfectly, the, the game plan. So I think it is a teamwork. Thank you very much, Coach Jose. Thank you very much, my brother, John. Thank you. Um, happy Africa Day to everyone, and see you guys on Saturday. Thank you. See yeah. you.